perfect vehicle for fans of Hollywood action movies, a speedboat stylized as the iconic Porsche 911. The boat is interesting because its creator used almost no parts from the real car, although the resemblance is striking. The hull is about 5 meters long and is made of fiberglass. The engine is a 4.3-litre V6, and the cabin is designed for four people. And if you get bored, there's an audio system and a water ski pylon. Anyone could buy the unusual vessel. In 2022, it went to auction and eventually was sold for $39,000. It is expected that by 2025, China's civilian drone industry's market value is likely to reach about $26 billion. Local companies are working at full speed, and one of them makes components from which handymen assemble these passenger drones. The company's website has a large selection of components for such projects, ranging from 50 kilowatt motors to 160 centimeter propellers. Its employees even went to the Shenzhen International UAV Expo. In the video, you can see a few cool projects. The red drone lifts about 300 kilograms. The white drone has an advanced flight controller, three bladed propellers, and a thrust of 98 kilograms. Any ideas? Just contact us, the website states. So, anyone who wants to build something like this should definitely check it out. I built a bionic arm completely from scratch out of inexpensive and recyclable materials, modestly says this 17-year-old. He used popsicle sticks, cardboard, empty bottles, fishing line, and other things that many would consider trash. He also added an Arduino board and ended up as the overall winner of the Big Bang Science and Engineering competition. At least three versions of the arm are known. One is controlled by a transmitter glove. According to the young inventor, he really enjoyed the creative process. A little later, it became known that he would represent the UK at the 62nd London International Youth Science Forum. Next, the smallest airship in the world, at least according to Guinness World Records. The V902 ULM hybrid vehicle from the French team Voliris became a record breaker in 2016. It's designed for one person and astonishes with a wing volume of 80 cubic meters. The designers claim that there's enough capacity to carry equipment as well. The idea was to create a prototype to show the viability of Valeris' innovation and technology. A great option for Mars. Add some solar panels on top and you could fly for years, one commenter noted. These masters decided to build a wind turbine on their own. The device is powered by a converted 24-volt car generator. It's made of metal and PVC elements. A detailed list is available on the project page on the website instructables.com.
The DIYers admit that their idea of using an alternator is not very good, but they managed to get the power around 50 watts and about 350 RPM. Next, they have in mind to experiment with the gear ratio, as some users advise them, so we are waiting for the upgraded version. This homemade buggy looks like it came from Dr. Frankenstein's lab. Even its creator called it a monster on wheels. It has the engine from a Yamaha MT-09 motorcycle, the rear suspension from a BRP Renegade 800 ATV, the front suspension from a Honda TRX450R ATV, and the brakes and seats are from a Can-Am Commander ATV. All of these details wonderfully come together to work. Admittedly, the creator had to work hard on many different tasks, like welding the frame, so the project took about 500 hours and an $11,000 budget. It's crazy, it's got over 100 horsepower, someone writes in the comments. But there's no stopping the inventor. He's promised that he'll update this vehicle regularly. screens, you are seeing a screw gun accessory, which will be useful for plasterers. It'll come in handy when making a textured plaster finish. The basis of the tool is a 30cm PVC pipe. You will also need wide zip ties longer than 10cm, glue, a steel stud bolt, washers, nuts and caps. All of this is easy to find, not only in a workshop, but also on a construction site. And the assembly is not very difficult or expensive. However, opinions are divided. Some users have doubts about the reliability of this homemade tool and believe that the work won't be neat. And if you aren't great at making things yourself, Similar production models, which look a bit like a barrel organ, are sold for about $26. A typical situation for many farmers and gardeners. You have enough compost, but you can't use it because it has too much inapplicable substances. That's why compost sifters are very popular. They're mass produced, and if the budget is tight or you want to be creative, you can make one yourself. What you see on the screen is a very simple homemade version. The compost, if necessary, along with the soil, is loaded into the drum. Small particles fall down and large ones go into the trailer. The design is ingenious and cost-effective. It's made out of three bicycle rims and a motor from an ordinary fan. The final rotation speed of the drum will be around 25 to 30 RPM, which is quite enough. While some experts argue about ecology, others note the increased demand for firewood. In particular, people in Europe are actively buying it. In the UK, the price of firewood increased by 20% and in Germany by 85%. But it's not enough to sell or buy firewood, it's also necessary to split it. Luckily, there are a variety of homemade log splitters. The model on the screen is designed for large logs and is very convenient in terms of preparing firewood of approximately the same size. Moreover, the operator has two modes at their disposal. You can choose a force of three or nine tons. 
and you can work anywhere. The wood splitter is equipped with wheels and can be transported without any problems. Ohio's best backyard roller coaster, the author of the video believes. Users have figured out that this is a clone of the Blue Flash roller coaster from the teen drama All the Bright Places. Unfortunately, the creator of the clone didn't specify its characteristics, but a comparison with other similar homemade rides showed that it can probably reach a speed of up to 40 km per hour. And the fact that their creators often don't have an engineering degree will add a special thrill to the ride. This is one of the most impressive builds I've ever seen on YouTube, admits one user, and it's hard to disagree with him. This crossbow is almost indistinguishable from its store-bought analogues. The master says that it took him about four months to make, but that's mostly because he was distracted by other things and learning how to 3D print. Now he's ready to make something similar in about 50 days. And viewers have even calculated the speed of the arrows, about 100 meters per second, and their energy. At 25 grams, that's 125 joules, no worse than many production models. <laughs> 